Welcome to all who seek knowledge. This video will be filled with basic and somewhat advanced tips for infiltrators, but some of them are applicable to everyone, so keep on watching, you never know what you'll learn. So we start off with hacking and overloading. I hope you are familiar with hacking ability, my friend, because sometimes it will provide you with some awesome opportunities to kill pretty much anything. But the tip I want to share with you should be known by everyone. While hacking or overloading jennies, you can move, shoot and look around. So the next time you overload or hack something, turn around to cover your behind. Nevertheless, whenever I see an occupied enemy turret, I just can't stand idly by and let him do his thing. And so I go up on the turret and start hacking it. I turn around to see the guy who jumps out, and as soon as he does, I light him up as an Xmas tree. Unless the server is lagging or crowded or whatever and causes him jump out before I can see him. At which case he has the upper hand and he manages to kill me most of the time, if this happens. Reload and cloak. No matter where you are or what you're doing, you can't be too careful. And you know, the most vulnerable time comes when you are reloading. So the tip here is that you should always try to reload while cloaked. Because in that moment you're most vulnerable and being invisible helps a lot. Sit still. Although this tip is very basic, it still should be mentioned. It is quite obvious that in this game, cloaks are not completely invisible. But of course you can increase or decrease cloaks visibility by standing up or crouching, moving or staying still. Quite obviously you'll be least visible once you are crouching and sitting still. And of course most visible once sprinting. And that simply tells you that you don't have to start running once enemy spots you. All you need to do is get behind some cover and sit still. And maybe hope for the fact that he forgot that you are there. Mine in a group. No matter if you're sniper, mid or close range fighter, you'll probably have proxy mines with you. So whenever you come across a big crowd of enemies, don't be afraid to run into them, dropping some proxy mines and getting out of there quickly. After a few seconds those proxy mines will detonate and probably kill at least two or three of them, depending on the crowd size. Overall, if you combine this maneuver with EMP grenade, you might actually kill all of them. Well, my best is about 9 to 10 kills, with one proxy mine of course. Overall, this is very simple and effective way to clear big camp fest that enemies have set up somewhere. Though you can run out of infantry resources quite quickly with this maneuver. Stalking the point. One nasty, cheesy and quite effective way to use your stalker cloak is to go on some enemy base and sit on the point that you can capture of course. And so being cloaked there you sit preventing enemies access to the next base over. Sure, it's kinda suicidal, but oftentimes seeing how those desperate enemies search for you is just priceless. Retreat to fight some more. Of course it's easier said than done, but retreating is a very good idea to make quick counterattack. Well, this also allows you to maintain an upper hand over your enemies as they walk in new environments or areas. So basically don't stay and fight just to kill two guys out of three if you know that you'll die. Don't restrict yourself of movement and use environment on your behalf. Overextending. Now there will come time when you get your groove on and start killing dudes left and right, but heed this warning. Never engage more than two enemies at the same time. By this I mean don't jump from target to target by not killing them. Just take one or two targets at most and try to kill them at the same time. The fact that infiltrators weapons in general are quite weak, you won't really be able to take out more than two enemies out with one clip. So take it easy and pick easy targets one by one. After all, you don't have to try and rape the whole crowd because they will turn on you like that. Important targets. No matter if you play CQC or Sniper, if you see still an easy enemy tank driver, KILL IT! After all, taking out one whole tank is very beneficial for your teammates. And it's kind of funny when you take out that poor engineer who desperately tried to save his tank. But then you arrived at the whole bag of NOPE! Of course, in bigger infantry battles, focus on AV turret operators and medics first. Well, try to avoid killing enemy snipers if you are a sniper yourself, because they are pretty much the only ones that actually can hurt you. 
And the final tip from me would be about range finding. So as a sniper I can tell you that knowing your range is very important to actually make one hit kill all the time with every bullet. But then again, if you're using any other projectile that is affected by gravity, you still need to know the distance. So, of course you have implant for range finding, but let's say you don't have it. How do you find your range between you and some point in the world? Well, quite obviously you're gonna use your personal waypoint. You can easily set that from map, but you can also put it on your minimap if you press Alt and then use your cursor and left click on minimap. And so there, I hope you learned something. Anyways, this video is a part of my big infiltrator guide series, and if you want to check out other parts, be sure to visit my channel.